Hey guys, ask you saw the title and also the thumbnail. Yes, I'm 100% right. Welcome to my channel and magazine. And today I will be talking about one of the most controversial topics I've ever talked about. It's not even a topic, it's what I experienced. My experience on Fortnite mobile. To be honest with you guys, it was pretty nice. I really experienced a lot of awesomeness in, in the gameplay. So let me start my story. So weeks ago, I was playing Call of Duty Mobile. Days ago, I was playing Call of Duty Mobile. I've been playing Call of Duty Mobile for a long time now. And I found that, that let's, let's take a change for once. Fortnite is one of the biggest gaming franchise in history. So I just felt that, okay, why don't I just take this game and play it anyway? Okay, I'm a mobile gamer. I have a PC, but I just enjoy gaming on the go. So what did I do? I went straight up to Epic Stores to download Fortnite on mobile. Yeah. When I got to Fortnite on mobile, it was pretty amazing. It was awesome. First. first things first, it took a long time to download the game. I mean, come on. It took a really long time to download the game. Well, it got started up, and just to sign in, I wanted to use an Epic Games account because I don't know nowhere else I may need it. So I created an Epic Games account. It was awesome. It took some time, I know, and detailing, but I created the account anyway. So when I was playing, I have not even started playing the game before I ever get to use the lobbies and stuff like that. And then I started playing. So when I logged in, I couldn't download the HD quality for first because it was 4 gigabyte and it actually would take some time. And to be honest with you, it started playing. I played the game for some few minutes. I got killed, yes, because I that was my first time. So when I went back, I left the game. Some minutes later, I got into the game and then I found that I had a very, 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 very big issue logging in. It took a lot of time. I waited minutes and minutes and minutes just to get my game loaded up. You know, initially when I first installed the game, I thought it was the normal process that, you know, first time opening the game, you got to take some time, you got to update, stuff like that. Then when I opened the game again, just a few hours later, it showed me the same thing. So then I started wondering, why is Fortnite doing to me? It even showed me this. and. It hurt me. Anyway, I restarted the game again, and then finally it showed me the reason why it even had the first error in the first place, which means it needs to be updated. I was like, come on. I downloaded this game less than five to six hours, and now you're telling me to update and update the game? Well, anyway, I updated the game. Anyway, and then that was my experience. So, Fortnite on mobile is actually cool, smooth. But what I've really experienced in this mobile experience is that it's kind of uh, testing. The controls aren't really that simple. To be honest, I played Call of Duty Mobile before, and it really took a lot of time and detailing to get used to on this Fortnite game. I mean, honestly, it really, really took some time. So that's why I also want you to click the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up because I will soon be releasing a new video Fortnite versus Call of Duty Mobile. Which one is better? I know you guys don't want to miss that video because it's going to drop really, 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 really hot. Really, really hot on YouTube. And thank you for watching if you've stayed here. And also go watch my gameplays on Call of Duty Mobile. They're amazing. If you haven't, go check. Also, please don't forget to click that subscribe button because I know you have. Because you're amazing. And I'm amazing. We are all, all, all amazing. See you in the next one, guys. Peace out.